Well, for the first time this year, CIRA 2017 is host to a competition that's for the younger chefs in the uh, food service business. Um, it's the Global Young Chefs Challenge, and it's already underway in Cuisine on Seine in Hall 2.2. Well, today I'm very pleased to welcome two of those who know a lot about this. Uh, they are Thomas Googler, who is the president of the World Association of Chef Societies, very splendidly adorned there with your presidential uh, badge, and also Radna Fridiksen, excuse me, who's the managing director also of the World Association of Chef Societies. Welcome to CRI TV. Thank you for joining us. Um, well, let me start by uh, maybe by you, uh, Radna, to start with. Can you tell me a little bit more about what the World Chefs uh, Global Challenge is all about, the Young Chefs Challenge? Yeah, the, the Young Chef Challenge, I mean, for us on our associations around the world, it's very important to develop the young talents. Uh, the young talents are the uh, future talents of tomorrow. They are the future Bocos d'Or of tomorrow, future Michelin star restaurants of tomorrow. And, uh, and our Young Chef Challenge is really to, uh, to uh, mentor them, help them uh, achieve these first competition skills. What is very important for us is actually to have uh, uh, a very high standard of judging. So we have judging rules and judging seminars. So we have a very fair treatment of the candidates. And the, most, uh, and the key thing in all that is the feedback that we give to the candidates. It's not to break them down. It's really that they come walk away from here having learned something new, uh, question themselves to come back and compete and be better. So that is uh, the reason for Young Chef Challenge. Yeah. What, why was it created? Was there, not a, was, was there not a forum for chefs of a certain age to demonstrate their skills? Well, we, ha we have 105 members around the world. Uh, we are a federation of national chef associations. And, uh, and in different country, member countries, we do have uh, young chef uh, competitions on a national level or, or a regional level. And we wanted to give them that world stage to bring them all together because the competitors, the young people here, uh, they're all under 25 years of age, each of them have won a semi-final in their own region, in their own continent. So they come from seven continents uh, of our, our, uh, our regions. And we have uh, the wild card, the French, uh, a young French person from the Ritz in, in Paris as well. So it's also for them to, uh, to meet each other, to meet chefs from other parts of the world. And they, they create a camaraderie, and they, uh, they learn skills, and they inspire each other. And they are 25, how, what's the age? 20? Yeah, under 25. They're all so, under 25 so years old. Got, if they're 25 already, it's too late. It's too late if, you're, <laughs> if you touch the 25, it's too late, yes. OK, well, maybe I could turn to you, Thomas Googler, as the president of the World Association of Chef Societies. How important do you think it is to nurture that ambition in the, the younger members of the profession? I mean, the most important thing is that this kind of young people getting a chance to be involved in competitions like that. Because this gives them the opportunity to showcase their abilities, to see where is the standards globally, and actually to understand and to, I so would call it, respect other cultures. Because uh, due to this fast-growing global trends, uh, the cuisine from Asia goes to Europe, the European cuisine goes to America. So basically, it's a mix of everything. And if these young people are taking this opportunity to yeah, travel around the world, to explore new techniques, uh, a new way of preparing and setting up things, it uh, gives them, I so would call it, the best opportunity and to be in the future one of these leading chefs in the world. Because all these kind of creations, when New World Cuisine came up and slow cooking, it has been created through to ethnic cooking techniques and due to, I so would call it, involvement of modern technology. And the usage of that to give this know-how to young people, I think it's, it's the most important that the kind of cuisine we get to try now and we had 50 or 100 years ago shall continue because a lot of this past I so would call it experiences got lost due to a slack of education and reducing of manpower because of cost and for these young chefs I think it's a great opportunity to see the big wide world of cooking and to be involved in that and to become a leader for the future. And potential future Boku's door entrance I, I guess. Absolutely and this is one of the key elements why we are doing things like that. It's not only the Boku's door but this is the most prestigious event in the world. We have our own events which is the global chef challenges and this goes so popular due to the TV and due to 
events like that, which are broadcasted also, and I think not only for professionals it's interesting, it's interesting a lot for people which are ordinary eaters who love to have good food mm -hmm. and to see how things are done in reality. How would you say the, the competition has changed uh, since it was first started in 2002? Uh, it has been changed a lot due to different trends, definitely, because you have to be modern. You know, if you create something, you must be ahead of the time. For simple people, it's not always understandable what we are doing because we are creating. We have to, I mean, it's like inventions. And the changes actually it become much more popular in the last, let's call it 15 to 20 years, to be a chef due to yeah, the, the scenes on TV. TV chefs become so popular. And this is a big encouragement for young chefs to be seen globally. Uh, their families are very proud that they have a chance to be seen and that they are involved in this kind of global developments. Radna, can I ask you, um, is it a difficult contest? Um, I mean, are the standards that the young chefs are achieving of a national level or are they, are they surpassing that in your competition now? No, it, it's actually, it's a very high level and we, that's the feedback we get from our judges uh, as well is that when we have a, a senior chef competition and a young chef competition, you often see there is a little bit more of simplicity from the young chefs, but uh, a lot of uh, dedication and they show a lot of skills. Mm. Sometimes their level is, is, uh, is as good and even higher. It's sometimes difficult, de delicate to say that. But uh, it's definitely at a world level. And as, as Thomas mentioned, you know, we, we, are, we are here at Sierra, we're talking about Boko's Door. Uh, all chefs, they need to start somewhere. And, uh, and a lot of those uh, Boko's Door uh, uh, winners that we've seen in the past, you know, the Nordics have been very strong. The grassroots comes from our associations. They've been participating all through their youth. To, to so reach it's all that your level. fault. <laughs> it's our fault. And then Asia is going to come strong as well. So uh, we hope, we, hope, we, we, hope we have some credit to say there. Um, is there any particular elements that the eight finalists have to do today? Yes, well, they, it, it's, uh, so it's, uh, it's a fine dining. It's, it's the highest of what they can uh, produce for us. So we give them the best of the produce that we can. We have the, uh, the sterling white halibut as a main course that they, they have to use. Um, and uh, then, it's, as a, uh, sorry, as a starter, um, as a starter. For the main course, we have a, a veal from, from Van Drie Group, which uh, we chose a, a secondary cut. So they, they're doing a sweet bread and a blade. So we're, we're trying to help them also to uh, use, you know, the, uh, the alternative cuts of, of, the, of the animal. And then for the uh, dessert, we're using uh, Valrona chocolate. So there's a dessert component with chocolate and the use of uh, Dilma tea. So they're then associating uh, different techniques with using tea in the dessert making. Uh, remind us very briefly who Hans Buschken is the trophy that actually, if I mispronounce that, Buschken, which is the trophy yes. that they win. H Hans Buschken was our president uh, in the 1990s. Am I right, Thomas? In the it's 1990s, he was our president. He comes from Canada. And uh, he worked very, very hard on bringing the young people into the associations and into the events. And so uh, it became natural for us to name the, comp the trophy in, uh, in his name. Okay, uh, we have nine, uh, eight finalists from Australia, France, Germany, Italy, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, United States and Sweden. Can I ask you who you think might be the favourite to win? Am I allowed to ask that? Well, it's, it's very, very tight and we, uh, we haven't started tasting yet. But uh, definitely we see that the, uh, the, new, the level is very, very good at this stage. We're starting to run the uh, first courses right now. Too early to say, it can all go down to the last minute. And everything counts. It's not just the, uh, the flavor or the presentation. It's also how they're working in the kitchen. The hygiene, the food wastage is very important. All the, uh, these standards are also, they come into account and they can make the little difference in points when it comes to the final counting. But I mean, what I would really recommend, you should come to Hall 2-2 around four o'clock where the winners will be announced and it's i think a special event it's different than the book quiz door because it's different criteria it works on a different shaman level but it's really very very young chefs and this is we are very proud of that we are part of this excellent exhibition here in Syra. And I think on behalf of the World Association, all chefs in Wolf, which has about 12 million members, we are really proud to be here. And we have to say thank you very much that we get that opportunity. Well, I want to say thank you to you too. Just one final little question. If you can put it in one word, what does Sira mean to you? Excellence. Radno? Celebrating cuisine. All the chefs are here.
Fantastic. Well, Radna Fridukson and also Thomas Gugler from the World Association of Chess Societies. Thank you so much for joining us here today. It's been a pleasure to talk Thank to you. Thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Tiffany.